हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी स्पेसिफिक एनर्जी द टोटल एनर्जी ऑफ अ फ्लोइंग लिक्विड पर यूनिट वेट इज गिवन बाय Z प्लस एच प्लस वी स्क्वायर अपॉन टू जी वेयर जेड इज द हाइट ऑफ द बॉटम ऑफ चैनल अबाउट डेटम दैट इज शोन हेयर एच इज द डेप्थ ऑफ लिक्विड विच इज शोन हेयर एंड वी इज द मीन वेलोसिटी ऑफ फ्लो इफ द चैनल बॉटम इज टेकन एज द डेटम एज शोन इन द फिगर देन द टोटल एनर्जी पर यूनिट वेट ऑफ लिक्विड विल बी इक्वल्स टू एच प्लस वी स्क्वायर अपॉन टू जी वेन चैनल बॉटम इज टेकन एज द डेटम द एनर्जी गिवन बाई इक्वेशन इज नोन एज स्पेसिफिक एनर्जी हैंस स्पेसिफिक एनर्जी ऑफ अ फ्लोइंग लिक्विड इज डिफाइंड एज एनर्जी पर यूनिट वेट ऑफ द लिक्विड विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू द बॉटम ऑफ द चैनल नाउ स्पेसिफिक एनर्जी कर्व इट इज डिफाइंड एज द कर्व विच शोज द वेरिएशन ऑफ स्पेसिफिक एनर्जी विथ डेप्थ ऑफ फ्लो इट मीन्स दैट द वेरिएशन ऑफ स्पेसिफिक एनर्जी विथ द डेप्थ ऑफ फ्लो इज नोन एज स्पेसिफिक एनर्जी कर्व इट इज ऑप्टेन्ड एज E equals to h plus v square upon 2g. That is the specific energy of a flowing liquid. It will be equals to E P plus E K, where E P is the potential energy of flow, that is h, and E K is the kinetic energy of flow, which will be equals to v square upon 2g. Now consider a rectangular channel in which a steady but non-uniform flow is taking place. Let Q equals to discharge through the channel. B is the width of the channel. H is the depth of flow, and small Q is the discharge per unit width. Then, small Q will be equals to discharge upon width, which will be equals to Q by B, which is a constant. Therefore, velocity of flow V will be equals to discharge upon area, which will be equals to Q by B into H, which will be equals to small Q by H, which is shown here. Now substituting the value in equation, we will have E equals to h plus q square upon 2g h square, which will be equals to E p plus E k. This equation gives the variation of specific energy E with depth of flow h. Hence, for a given discharge q, for different values of depth of flow, the corresponding values of E may be obtained. then a graph between specific energy along x x axis and depth of flow h along y y axis may be plotted which is shown here the specific energy curve may also be obtained by first drawing a curve for potential energy that is ep equals to h which is shown here which will be a straight line passing through the origin making an angle of 45 degree which is shown here With the x-axis as shown in figure, then drawing another curve for kinetic energy, which will be equals to e k equals to q square upon 2 g h square, which is shown here, or e k equals to k upon h square, where k equals to q square upon 2 g, which is a constant, which will be parabola. The curve A C B denotes specific energy curve. Now the next topic is critical depth H C. Critical depth is defined as that depth of flow of water at which the specific energy is minimum. This is denoted by H C. Curve A C B is a specific energy curve, and point C corresponds to the minimum specific energy, which is shown here. The depth of flow of water at C is known as critical depth. that is hc shown here the mathematical expression for critical depth is obtained by differentiating the specific energy equation with respect to depth of flow and equating the same to zero that is de upon dh will be equals to zero where e will be equals to h plus q square upon 2g h square after solving these we will have h equals to q square upon g to the power 1 by 3 but when specific energy is minimum depth is critical and it is denoted by hc hence critical depth is hc equals to q square upon g to the power 1 by 3 now critical velocity which is denoted by vc 
the velocity of flow at the critical depth is known as critical velocity it is denoted by vc therefore hc equals to q square upon g to the power 1 by 3 which is already shown in the previous equation now hc cube will be equals to q square upon g or it can be written as g hc cube equals to q square which is the first equation but q equals to discharge per unit weight which will be equals to capital q by b so small q will be equals to area into velocity upon b so it will be equals to b into h into v upon b so it will be equals to h into v that will be equals to hc into vc now substituting this value of q in equation first we will have g hc cube equals to hc into vc whole square now we have to divide this value by the hc square we will have g hc equals to vc square and the value of critical velocity will be equals to under root of g hc which is shown here now the next topic is minimum specific energy in terms of critical depth specific energy equation is given by e equals to h plus q square upon 2g h square when specific energy is minimum depth of flow is critical and hence above equation becomes e minimum will be equals to hc plus q square upon 2g hc square but hc will be equals to q square upon g to the power 1 by 3 therefore it will be equals to hc cube equals to q square upon g now substituting the value of q square upon g equals to hc cube in equation of e minimum we will have e minimum equals to hc plus hc cube upon 2 hc square on solving this we will have e minimum equals to 3 by 2 hc that is all about the specific energy thank you very much students